Hey guys, how's it going? F8 Alpha here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on World of Tanks and we're having a look at the Panzer 58 as it should be in the premium shop today and I'm actually doing this review ahead of time so you guys get an idea what this tank is all about. So with that said, I don't exactly have the price point but I'm guessing they probably have, Wargaming probably has, the three bundles, the basic, the loaded, and the ultimate bundle would be my guess. And as long as this tank falls in the range of 34 to $40, it's still in the range of a tier 8 medium tank, and it would be a decent um, look at here. So with that said, I set up a comparison so we can see what this tank is exactly about, and we will check that out right now. So for this comparison, I have the Panzer 58, I have the... Panther 88 and have the STA2. So let's jump straight into the firepower here. The Panzer 58 has 1,877. The Panther 88 has 2,176. And the STA2 has 2,002, making the Panther 88 the highest DPM tank in this comparison. Now let's go ahead and look at the penetration. The Panther 58 has 212. The Panther 88 has 203, and the SCA2 has 212 as well. Now, the alpha damage on all three of these tanks is 240. The reload time of the Panzer 58 is 7.6 seconds. The Panther has a 6.6 second reload, and the SCA2 has a 7.1 second reload. Quick note would be the shield velocity of the Panther and the Panzer 58 are 1,000. Followed by the STA-2, which is a more derpy 853. Now when we're looking at gun handling, we're talking about dispersion and aim time. So let's jump straight into that. The aim time of the Panzer 58 is 2.2. The Panther 88 has a 2.4. And the STA-2 has a 2.0, making it the quickest aiming. But when we're looking at accuracy or dispersion... The 58 has a 3.5, the 88 has a 3.1, and the STA2 has a 3.5 as well. Now, when it comes to depression, the Panther is at a disadvantage here with only 8 degrees of gun depression, where the STA2 and the Panzer 58 have a 10 degree de gun depression, making the Panzer 58 and the SA2 a better hill fighter or better for getting their shots down on your enemies. Now in terms of mobility, the Panzer 58 can do 50 kilometers forward, 20 in reverse. The Panther 88 can do 46 forward, 20 reverse. And the STA2 is the fastest at 55 kilometers forward and 20 in reverse. Now we also must look at the power to weight ratio because this will kind of give us a good judge at how fast the tanks can climb hills and get into position. The Panzer 58 has a 17.0, the Panther 88 has a 15.0, and the SA2 has a 16.7, making the Panzer 58 the fastest tank to climb hills and to go ahead and take those positions. Also a quick note is that the Panzer 58 has the best ground resistances, making it that much more quick and agile on all trains. Now let's go ahead and look at the armor and the hit points of these tanks. The Panzer 58 has a hull armor of 90 on the front, 30 on the sides, and 40 at the rear. The turret on the Panzer 58 is 120 at the front, 65 at the sides, and 40 at the rear. The Panther has a frontal hull armor of 85, 50 on the sides, and 40 at the rear. And the turret is 120 at the front, 60 at the sides, and 60 at the rear. Now the STA-2 is the worst in the comparison when it comes to armor. It has 45 millimeters of armor on the front of the hull, 30 on the sides, and 25 at the rear. The turret has 70 at the front, 60 at the sides, and 35 at the rear. Now when it comes to the hit points, the Panzer 58 is the lowest in this comparison. It has 1,300. The Panther 88 has 1,500. And the SCA2 has 1,420 making the Panzer 58 the quickest to kill in this comparison. Now when it comes to equipment, my recommendations would be ventilation, a gun rammer, and coated optics for this particular tank, or alternatively a stabilizer, as if you can't equip with stabilizer, you probably should. 
And moving on to crew skills and crew training, and that's where I need to make a quick note. This Panzer 58 has a crew of four, making it ideal for the Leopard line in the German medium tanks, but making it not ideal if you're looking to go ahead and grind out that E50, as an E50 has a crew of four, making the Panther 88 a better choice. For the Commander, I would go with Sixth Sense. For the Gunner, I would go with Snapshot. For the Driver, I would go with Off-Road Driving, or you could also go with Smooth Ride. And for the Loader, of course, I go with Safe Stowage. Now, these skills could also be replaced by Repair across the board, so that repairing your tank's tracks, your engine, or your gun will be that much quicker with your crew skill. How to play the Panzer 58, this is your traditional medium tank. It is somewhat lightly armored for a medium tank, but it is also agile and decently quick. So this is your support tank, this is your flanker tank. This is kind of like your second line tank that uh, follows the heavies into battle and provides the supplemental firepower. The uh, addition of the extra gun in a battle can make a world of difference, and that's where this tank comes in. This tank is not for side scraping. This tank is not for angling and trying to take a hit. Uh, if you bounce a shot off of this tank, it is more of a lucky thing and not to be depended on. My personal thoughts about this tank. Um, it is a decently fun tank to play. However, there are funner tanks to play. Um, now, when it comes to crew training, obviously something like the Panther 88 is a bit better of a crew trainer because it has a higher DPM. It also has a slight edge when it comes to armor. It is a little bit heavier and it has that five crew training ability, meaning that you can go ahead and transition your crew straight from your Panther 88 into your uh, E50 or what have you. And there's no issue with the extra crew member not being trained. So with that said, guys, that's my review of the Panzer 58. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am F8 Alpha, and I will catch you guys next time.